Hi, and welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. This week, I wanted to start off with a huge congratulations to the Paper Mill Playhouse on the world premiere of their production of The Honeymooners. It was a stellar, stellar success for them, and we are thrilled. The cast was led by Tony Award winner Michael McGraw, with Leslie Kritzer, Michael Mastro, Laura Bell Bundy, Louis Cleo, Louis J. Stadlin, and David Wall. Book by Dusty Kay and Bill Nuss. Music by Stephen Weiner with lyrics by Peter Mills and choreographed by Joshua Burgas and directed by the Tony Award winning director John Rando. I don't think this is the end of The Honeymooners, so keep an eye out because I have a feeling this one's going to be on the move. <laughs> Another congratulations is to Bruce Springsteen, who's making his debut with Springsteen on Broadway. You can barely get a ticket, and you have to be like a lottery winner practically to get one. And I, of course, have not had the chance to see him, but I hear he is spectacular. It's just Bruce, his guitar, a piano, and his stories. I don't think you're going to want to miss it. It's playing through February 3rd, but rumor has it that it could be extended and extended. The Roundabout Theatre Company presents the revival of Time in the Conways by J.B. Priestley. It's directed by Tony Award winner Rebecca Teichman. Starring Elizabeth McGovern, Tony winner Gabriel Ebert, Stephen Boyer, Anna Camp, Matthew James Thomas, Charlotte Parry, and Alfred Narcisco. Time in the Conways plays through November 26th at the American Airlines Theater on West 42nd Street. Mother, Joan did stay in London last week and she went to three theaters. She has relatives there. We haven't. That makes a great difference. Oh, aren't we ever going? Yes, of course. Perhaps Robin will take us, I mean just you and me, when he comes back. It said in the paper this morning that we must all get on with our jobs. That this mere rush for amusement after the war has gone on long enough now and there's work waiting to be done. <laughs> A fat lot of rushing for amusement we've done, haven't we? I think that's frightfully unfair and idiotic. Just when we might have some fun after years of washing up in canteens and hospitals and queuing for foul food with nobody about at all, and they go and say we've had enough amusement and must get on with our jobs. What jobs? Rebuilding a shattered world. It said that too. Uh, Your job will be to find a very nice young man and marry him, and that oughtn't to be difficult for you. <laughs> oh, yes. Hurry up, Hazel, and then I can be a bridesmaid. <laughs> You're having a party. Yes, it, it isn't that. And it isn't that you suddenly dislike the people, but you feel... Well, at least I do, and I suppose that's what Father felt too. You feel quite suddenly that it isn't real enough. And you want something to be real, do you see, Mother? No, I don't. It sounds a little morbid to me, but then your father could be quite morbid sometimes, and I suppose you take after him. Do you think that sometimes, in a mysterious sort of way, he knew? Knew what, dear? Look at Hazel. Doesn't she look sweet? I can remember where I first wore that. Absurd. Knew what? Knew what was going to happen to him. You know, Alan said that some of the men he knew who were killed in the trenches seemed to know sometimes that they were going to be killed. 
as if a kind of a shadow fell over them. Just as if now and then we could see around the corner into the future. Playing at the Neo Simon Theatre through December 30th only is the Tony award-winning play Cats. This revival is just terrific. The original production ran 18 years. The music is by multi-Tony Award winner Andrew Lloyd Webber, with lyrics by T.S. Eliot, with additional lyrics by Trevor Nunn and Richard Stilgo. And it's directed by four-time Tony Award winner Trevor Nunn, with choreography by three-time Tony Award winner Andy Blankenbuehler. This ensemble cast of over 30 actors works their paws off, so be sure to catch it through December 30th before it wraps up its run. Transport Group is presenting a very daring production of Strange Interlude. It is a Pulitzer Prize winning play by Eugene O'Neill. It's nine acts and it stars five-time Obie Award winner David Greenspan and only David Greenspan playing every role. It's directed by Jack Cummings III and it's playing in Brooklyn. It's a six-hour production with a dinner break. I cannot wait to see this production. It plays only through November 18th in Brooklyn at the Irondale Theatre Center. Over at New World Stages through January 6th is A Clockwork Orange starring John O. Davies and a cast full of the most well-sculpted actors I have ever seen. It's a wonderful production, so stylized, so beautiful and so interesting. A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess is directed by Alexandra Spencer Jones. You and yours have built the Grazhny world we like. Live in, so now you pay. How about me, eh? Where do I come into all of this? Am I just some animal or dog? Am I to be just like a clockwork orange? Something I'm very excited to see is playing at New York City Center. It's Matthew Bourne's The Red Shoes, based on the film and the Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale. The music is by Bernard Herrmann, and it's based on the film by Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. The Red Shoes is playing only through November 5th at City Center.
Cabaret Roundup. To start us off at Birdland, Anne Hampton Calloway, a cabaret favorite. She brings her show to the club from October 31st through November 4th. The Broadway at Birdland series continues with Amanda Green on Monday, November 13th, with Amanda Green's colossal shit show. And it has very, very special guests. Two-time Grammy Award winner Diane Schur brings her show to Birdland from November 14th through the 18th. It's a tribute to Stan Getz and Frank Sinatra. At the Cafe Carlisle from November 21st through the 25th is Catherine McPhee, who you may remember from Smash. Her show is entitled, I Fall in Love Too Easily. From November 28th through December 31st, Grammy Award winner Steve Tyrell brings his annual show back to the Cafe Carlisle. Here is a look at the incredibly entertaining Steve Tyrell. Do you see this guy? This guy's in love with you. Yes, I'm in love. Who looks at you the way I do when you smile I can't tell we know each other very well how can I show you I'm glad I got to know you cause I've heard some talk They say you think I'm fine This guy's in love And what I do to make you mine Tell me now Is it so Don't let my heart keep breaking Cause I want your love I need your love Say you're in love In love with this guy Not I. 
just died. Over at Green Room 42, Tony Award winner Frances Raffel brings her show back to the club on November 12th. Last month's show was so successful that they brought her back again. Be sure not to miss it. At the Laurie Beachman Theater under the West Bank Cafe for one night only, November 29th, Christopher Caswell brings his new show to the club. At the hot new club Pangea on 2nd Avenue on November 3rd and December 1st, Audrey Appleby brings her show Ladies Cheap Cocktails to the club. At Feinstein's 54 Below, where on any given night you can find two to three very exciting shows, on Sunday, November 5th, is Laura Haywood's Broadway Girl birthday celebration. On November 14th at Feinstein's 54 Below, 54 sings Billy Joel's greatest hits. On November 16th, Two by Two in Concert. It's written by Richard Rogers and Martin Charnin. The book was by Peter Stone, and it's directed by Martin Charnin, with very special guests, Chip Zion, and Christine Petty. On November 17 and 18, Melissa sings Sondheim. Melissa Errico brings her show back to the club with an entire program of Stephen Sondheim. Nothing's gonna harm you, not while I'm around. Nothing's gonna harm you, no sir, not while I'm around. Demons are prowling everywhere nowadays. I'll send them howling, I don't care. I've got a ways. No one's gonna hurt you. No one's gonna dare. Others can desert you. Not to worry. Whistle, I'll be there. Demons will charm you with a smile. For a while, but in time, nothing can harm you, not while I'm around. Being close and being clever ain't like being true. gonna dare others can desert you not to worry whistle I'll be there demons will charm you with a smile for a while but in time nothing can harm you nothing can hurt you Greenwich Village at Le Poisson Rouge, they present a very special night on Monday, November 13th. 
It's Rockers on Broadway. This year, they honor all the legends that have passed on. It's a stellar cast led by Donnie Kerr, Leslie Margarita, Alex Brightman, and Michael Cerverus. They will be presenting a special Lifetime Achievement Award to Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS very own Tom Viola. <laughs> And I think that comradeship is why I'm here today, still here, and I'm speaking from my new heart, you know? And it's bigger than the old heart. I love you all. And wish that that the world um, could just be one big theater because it's the place where I feel like we most come to understand and appreciate all of our similarities and most importantly all of our differences. I am what you want me to be and I'm your worst fear you'll find it in me. Come closer, come closer. I am more than memory, I am what might be, I am mystery, you know me, so show me. When I appear, it's not so clear if I'm a simple spirit or I'm flesh and blood. Behind, I'll take you to your special island. On November 2nd at Carnegie Hall, Master Voices under the direction of Ted Sperling presents George and Ira Gershwin's Of The I Sing. It's a Pulitzer Prize winning musical. The stellar cast includes Bryce Pinkham, Danae Benton, Elizabeth Stanley, Kevin Chamberlain, Mo Rocca, Chuck Cooper, and Brad Oscar. To close our show, from November 10th through January 1st is the Christmas Spectacular at Radio City, starring the Radio City Rockettes. It's directed and choreographed by Julie Bannum. It what a sight, like the brightest Christmas tree. There's nothing 